Hey guys, so I do mining and I mine ethash to the ethermine pool, ethermine.org, and I've set my GUI at 40, and I have no idea what a GUI is, and I've been doing this for a couple months, and I, I know it's a fractional part of an Ethereum in a fee structure. No, I don't know. It just drives me nuts. I, I go, what is this GUI crap, and why is it 40? I kept it at 40, and I'm not going to go any higher because I figure obviously you're going to pay more, so right now it's saying you have a pending payout. The submitted request has a gas price limit setting of 40 GUI, GWEI, which is below the current base fee of 115 GUI, <laughs> GUI, whatever. Uh, they can't process the payment once the network fee falls below this limit. I know the network fees are based upon the blocks released so I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm a diehard 40, 40 guay or 40 guay or die. But what the heck? Honestly, what is this thing? What is this unit measure? What is this fraction? How do you compute it? And how does it equate to dollars? Well, here, I figured this out. Someone told me. And I went, oh, my God, I had no idea this was part of this website. So if you go to etherscan.io, where'd it go? Gas trucker. Go to the ether, etherscan.io gas tracker, and here it shows you the current, what it, whatever it says, gas tracking. The thing updates. Just turn it on if you're looking for payouts and what's going on. And here's the current values. Low, average, high. 95, so roughly about 853. So you figure 40 is half of that, right? Four bucks. Now it jumped up to 105, and it all comes out with this thing. Confirmation time times gas price, the last 1,000 blocks. So I think it's updated with every block, set of blocks or whatever. So if you're really bored and you want to fall asleep, just watch this. But this gives you what it is. And the core thing here I want to just show you is this tells you in USD what they're taking out of instead of a 0.001865% of an Ethereum. It's like, and then that's always fluctuating up and down. Because right now, kablamo. ETH is up 42, the big boy is at 56, and Litecoin, oh, Litecoin's up, what's Litecoin at? 230, Dogecoin, and here you go, we're kind of got a mixed bag, mostly red though. So how are you supposed to produce, know off the top of your head, what the GUI or GUI value is? So but go to this site, it'll tell you, and you can set accordingly. I'm going to hold at 40, I'm going to hold on for dear life for 40, because the less fees I pay, the better. Because all you can do is ever pay a lot of fees with this stuff. And that's the only really thing that turns me on about Ethereum is it's fees are ridiculous. I had a, a couple coin, one coin, a couple of them on a MetaMask. I was using MetaMask. I tried to get it transferred off and say I had 10 bucks. They wanted 30 bucks in fees in Ethereum. I went, are you joking me? Here, eat it. You can have this, man. It's almost, it almost makes me wonder, how is this even a thing? Uh, it's just really ridiculous. I understand it's a platform, but I think the fees are kind of, I'm just an idiot. And that kind of makes you wonder if this thing's going to have legs. Uh, but I understand maybe the fees are part of paying the miners, I guess. I got to figure that out. I don't know. All I know is I get paid and then they want to charge me to move it. So coming, uh, coming to that point, having said that, is I also mine ETHash but I send it to the nice hash uh, pool, Dagger Hashimoto, whatever that is. I think that's right. And then that get pays in Bitcoin into my nice hash account. The beautiful thing about that is they have a deal with Coinbase or their own, I don't know, there's a relationship there. And that will get transferred to Coinbase if I choose for free. And that's great, no fee. I might move it to um, Voyager or BlockFi and there, there I will earn decent interest on my crypto, which is five, six percent, seven percent on some, nine percent on USDC, uh, which is awesome. Man, don't keep your money. I don't know. I'm moving a lot of cash over there because I'm at least can get nine percent at Voyager. And if you get the Voyager token, you can even get more. And then where I'm sitting in my bank account, I get nothing. I'm losing money because of the 20 uh, percent inflation out there. The real number so it's kind of scary. You got to put your money where you're actually making some money, not losing it, just sitting in cash, sitting in fiat. So there you go. This little GUI video on how I 
kind of makes me feel better that I know what a GUI now equates to in something relative like fiat, $8.53 right now. And I can set it currently. I'm just going to hold, I don't know, it's got to, I mean, I don't know. I hope it drops down to 40 so I can get my money or get my coin, whatever, get my ETH, or ETH transferred over and then start earning some yummy interest. Uh, and this is all you, EC, EC, ERC20 transfer, Uniswap, and I know they also are doing something else. They are, oh, yeah, uh, Paul, I forget, they're doing another way you can pay out as well. Um, guess that's not it. You can go check it out. Anyway, there you go, simple dirty. If you're always wondering what's the stupid uh, gas price limit, and you can go into your settings, and then... Uh, you can click on the tab in there and you can set your limits and then uh, go from there. I kept mine at 40 and oh, it's at 92. Come on, man. Tonight could be the night. 40. I'm going to get my payout. Woo. Uh, yeah. Hold up 40. Why not? And I think the joke I heard was, not the joke ever, is Ethermines become the largest wallet on the net because people don't want to pay these high fees just to move your earned money out your mind money your mind coins you know they don't want to pay these super high fees so they just hold for 40 some maybe go higher they don't mind paying eight bucks but eight bucks is eight bucks no you're gonna pay four bucks and you still got four bucks right i don't know all adds up all right i'm out there you go hope this helps this is again i will forget about this probably in a month and then i'll pop this video up and maybe learn something let me know what you guys have any other tools out there any other websites that helped you guys like please share them because I'm still learning. I don't know all this crap. I don't know what I don't know. And I'm uh, posting this stuff, making these videos to help myself, help log the, uh, the adventure, the, the journey, the expensive journey in crypto mining. Uh, but right now, now, now it seems good. Money's, money's churning. Uh, the temperature's dropped and I'm not sweating. And I got my grow tent working right and I'm waiting for more GPUs and some CPUs. Hopefully the prices will drop, but you never know. They'll probably go through the roof. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a good night. Go do something interesting. Bam.